Hi traders, in this video I am going to show you how to use 99.9% .9 tick data when you are backtesting any strategy, any automated strategy in MT4. It is one of the most important topics in forex trading, in algorithmic trading especially. And if you can't backtest your strategies with high quality tick data, with slippage, commission, variable spread, you have no chance to actually know what your strategy is going to do in the live markets. So in today's video, finally, after many of you asked me in Telegram and in email to make a video about where to get 99.9% .9 quality tick data, in this video I am going to show you how to get it and how to test with it. Let's start. A only like 90% basic MT4 tick data, it can show you a great result. But when you are testing your strategy with the 99.9% .9 Dukas copy uh, tick data, your strategy will fail. And this is a huge reason why traders can be tricked uh, and they think a certain EA is working very well in the markets or that they, their strategy is working very well in the markets. But it is not the truth. And you can actually use variable spread, you can uh, add commission and slippage into testing as well. And without this, I don't even know how I would test NEA. Actually, it was my first investment to buy tick data. I just started to test some strategies and I realized early on that uh, testing with just the basic MT4 broker provided tick, tick data is not good. And I found a tick data suite. Now, I am not an affiliate with them in any way. I don't even know if they have affiliate stuff. I just recommend them because I basically use them from the beginning of my um, of my algorithmic trading journey. And so I, I have a very long journey with them. They are always accurate, they provide updates, um, they just vert the they just worth the money because without this you will be not really be able to have the potential to be profitable with algorithmic trading because you you won't be able to test your EAs. Now let's start. First you need to go uh, and download tick data suite and after that you you are going to install it and you are going to have a platform like this. Now you will find many servers and based on my personal experience the best and most reliable ones are Dukas Copy and hisdata.com. These two um, are the ones that I am personally using. Now then you can select uh, what period you would like to download um, and so you can download all the data and that's what I am usually doing and you can always update it. Yeah, the tick data is downloaded, the fresh one that I need for this demonstration. Um, you are going to have a use tick data button in your MT4 after you installed tick data suite and you are going to have um, many settings, um, sleepy spread and you can set all of these things to your uh, style to your stress testing style. Um, 
you can set it to com a completely realistic uh, environment. You can also set the GMT offset. And now I have a pretty good amount of tick data. And I am going to show you how different it is when you are testing with a tick data like this. Now I am going to test the Viking EA MT4 version. This test will take a pretty long time, so I just uh, click on start. I want to show you um, the tick data is now um, you know updated because I downloaded the last days as well to have a pre precise test and of course um, I will be using variable spread for this test as well. If you are interested in buying tick data I highly encourage it. I have no affiliation. I have no money in the game like I just recommend to do it because I want shaders to be to, to reach their potential and without this it is not possible. Man, it is taking a long time to generate the new tick data because you will see what is working and what is actually not working. Now I just ran a test with um with open prices because I wanted to showcase with a good, a better quality data, even open price testing is going to be so much closer to reality, especially with robots the, as, as the Viking that is a robot that is, you know, long term and not a scalper. Um, it is easier to accurately test uh, long term EAs because spread is not really affecting the EA and all of these things because it is holding trades for days or even weeks. So just the starting spread is usually not affecting the EA so much because it is riding real trends. Uh, sometimes for multiple hundred pips. Now just make it fun and let's no, test it with 2% risk per trade because now we are testing only uh, one pair because I don't want to make this video very, very long because then most traders won't uh, watch it. And so I can't spread this message. But if you are interested, I can make videos where I am testing more robots and stuff. Just let me know in the comments actually. Yes, so um, I just wanted to show you quickly uh, if a whole tick data test with variables um, for 10 years, it takes a long time. So I can show you that in the video, but I can show you like a, a one year test. And I want to actually um, show you how close actually open price only result is to the real tick data result with variable spread. Um, yeah, it is just one year on one currency pair. So it is not, it's not many trades, mm, but let's see, uh, like $2,900 approximately. And now let's start uh, to test it with every tick, uh, the most precise method with variable spread and the Dukas copy tick data that we just downloaded. And if you go ahead and get tick data, you can do this as well. It is going to take a few minutes too, because these things take time. And this is the reason why many sellers and most of the traders, they, they don't understand how important this is. And therefore they just ignore this topic completely. And then they are surprised that they 
they created an EA that is, let's say, great in backtest, but very, very bad in live trading. Like, not just like break even bad or, you know, like 10, 15% um, bad, but account blowing bad. And um, if they would have tested their EAs with everything data and all this stuff, to, together and they would have also stress tested it in Monte Carlo analysis, quant analyzer, they could actually know the truth about their strategies, but they didn't do that. So they don't know the truth. And most traders think it is the easiest part. It is the toughest part. Um, yes, yeah, some trades already formed. In the Viking EA, um, I coded a custom trading stop and I tested it and it is the first trailing that I actually liked that is working the way I think it is optimal, even for a long term strategy that doesn't hurt the risk to reward ratio too much. and that uh, isn't just just opening and closing trades uh, intraday because of the trailing stop. So I kept it uh, in the EA, decide if I am using it or not. Um, it is not a must to use, but it uh, it is pretty good. Okay, so in this part, I just wanted to showcase how close the everything data resorts with um, variable spread testing. It is very slow. Um, so I think I will pause the video recording for a little bit and um, I will get back when the test is like here and we are going to see. I hope you find this video useful so far. I think this video is very, very important because I realized when I am um, recording my course about algorithmic trading optimization, testing, stress testing, um, those are the most important parts. I realized I am talking about 99.9% uh, .9 tick data all the time and for years actually, but I never made a video where I show how to get this tick data. So it is, I think, a video that is going to be very, very useful for traders. Finally, here is a losing trade. Um, I was kind of embarrassed that uh, this many uh, winning trades happened because I like, you know, the natural flow of um, trading, but uh, on Euro USD, the EA had an exceptional year, so um, it is just what it is. Um, if you are interested in the tests of the other pairs as well, that is at the moment 17 pairs for this EA. It is working on many, many e uh, pairs because I found it very efficient uh, on most of the pairs. If you are interested in that, just let me know and I'm going to make uh, these testing videos uh, more often. I just wanted to show you it is not a must to scalp an intraday trade on the markets because as you can see, you can hold trades for a couple of days and they will be all right. They, you, you can make money with strategies that um, don't open hundreds or thousands of trades in a day. You know, you can make money with swing traders. I see most traders, they are living in an illusion that the, it is called the uh, illusion of action. It is a very human thing to do. When you think you, you are, you are making money, you are earning uh, 
you know, when you are taking action. But actually, in trading, patience is key. I don't say don't do anything. You should test your strategies rigorously. You, you should optimize them. You should run Monte Carlo analysis on those um, strategies that you want to use. You should spend insane amounts of time. But when you when you um, put your EA on the markets, patience will be the key to make money. Because if you just buy an EA to to trade for the excitement, that is different than trading or investing. That is called gambling. And that is different. That is a legit reason to buy an EA as well. But, you know, so the test is done, actually, finally. And it is just one year. Um, we have 1,900 in profit. Now, with the open prices, we had a kind of a similar chart with uh, 2,900. So there is, of course, a difference, but um, you can see that this quality backtesting is just so important. And I, I recommend it for everyone. I want to make a video where I compare EAs with uh, testing with the basic MT4 tick data that is ranging from like 30% um, to, to like 90% and then compare it to the 99.9% .9 tick data test that I just did. It is going to be a very, very, very uh, interesting video. And if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments because that always motivates me to make videos. If you have any questions about this topic, I am more than happy to make more videos about this topic because I know you are going to have questions. And if you, if you want to see like a 10 year or 20 year test, let me know that as well. And just, yeah, start a discussion about this topic because it is one of the most important topics of algorithmic trading. Ciao.